my beloved students welcome to this session in this session we are going to learn how to solve problems on linear pde of second and higher order with constant coefficients of homogeneous types so before going to the problems let us recall the basics what we studied in the semester 1 and previous sessions here i am going to take z as a function of x and y z is the dependent variable it is depending on x and y so I can do partial differentiation dou z by dou x dou z by dou y. Now let us recall what is mean by order and degree. So let us consider a simple differential equation PDE dou z by dou x dou z by dou y equal to zero. Then the second one dou square z by dou x square plus dou z by dou y equal to zero. Now you see in this first equation for the first part also the derivative is first derivative. Here also it has first derivative. So the order is going to be one. But in the second problem, the first term as second order derivative and second term as first order derivative. So now the order is going to be two. So the order of the PD is the order of the highest partial differential coefficient occurring on it next what is mean by linear now let us consider a differential equation dou square z by dou x square whole cube plus dou z by dou y equal to 0 here order of the differential equation is the first term contains second order derivative second term contains first order derivative so the order is going to be 2 now you have to check the power raised by the highest order derivative here the power is 3 so my degree is going to be 3 so for this differential equation the order is 2 and the degree is 3 next one what is mean by linear pde a pde is said to be linear if the dependent variable and the partial derivatives of the dependent variables are in first degree only so now what you are going to see what is mean by homogeneous linear pde a pde is said to be homogeneous of order n it would be like this like all the order should be n and the coefficient should be constants so now you understand what is mean by linear pde of second and higher order with constant coefficients of homogeneous type so usually we use this notation d means dou by dou x and d dash for dou by dou y so now i'll give an example for second order linear pde with constant coefficients of homogeneous type that is going to be 2 d square plus 2 d dash square into z is equal to some function of x y otherwise i can write 2 dou z square by dou x square plus 2 dou z square by dou y square is equal to function of f comma y here you see this is linear pde with constant coefficients and it is homogeneous so now the previous equation can be rewritten as like this because we assume d is dou by dou x d dash is dou by dou y now a function with d and d dash is at on the right hand side with x and y the general solution for this differential equation is z is equal to simply we say complementary function plus particular integral cf plus pi now we are going to see how to find the complementary functions for this homogeneous linear pde with constant coefficients first of all we make the rhs is equal to zero and then if you want to find the pi the general form we are writing pi is equal to one by f of d comma d dash capital f of x comma y so now we are going to see how to find the cf now we are going to form the axillary equation what we are going to do we take the mentioned linear pde with constant coefficients which is homogeneous now put d equal to m d dash equal to 1 so my pde will become simply f of m comma 1 is equal to 0 now convert the differential equation into a normal equation with power n because we are taking nth order now we know how to solve this if it is a quadratic or cubic equation just find the roots so whenever you find the roots there are two options the roots may be real or 
complex they may be equal or they may be unequal so we have n roots because the order is n so if all the roots are different distinct then the complementary function is represented like this okay i'll give an example now you take if my roots are 2 and 3 then my complementary function is f1 of y plus the first root is 2 2x plus f2 of y plus 3x suppose if you have the roots m is equal to minus 2 minus 3 then my cf is going to be f1 of y minus 2x f2 of y minus 3x that's it. even if you get a complex root since the roots are distinct suppose m is equal to 2 plus 3i 2 minus 3i so complex roots occur in pair so my cf is going to be f1 of y plus 2 plus 3i into x plus f2 of y plus 2 minus 3i into x next if the roots are equal so some roots are equal some roots are unequal let us consider this so what i am going to do i am going to represent cf in this form i'll give a simple example now suppose you consider my m is 2 and 2 the roots are equal so my cf is going to be f1 of y plus 2x the root is repeated twice so i am going to multiply x with the next function f2 of y plus 2x suppose if the root is repeated thrice we are going to add one more term that is x square into f3 of y plus 2x it goes on now if my roots are like this m is equal to 2 3 3 here 3 is repeated twice and m is not repeated so i can write my cf first i will write the repeated roots like f1 of y plus 3x plus x into f2 of y plus 3x then i'll come for the non repeated root i'll write f3 of y plus 2x even you can write the non repeated root first and you can go for repeated root next it doesn't matter so now you understand how to write the cf now let us go into the problems if your pde consist only the left hand side if the right hand side is zero then always my particular integral is going to be zero so my z is simply cf because we know z is cf plus pi since this pi is zero i am going to get only z is equal to cf so we solve some problems how to find cf alone in this session okay these are all some problems you are going to solve let's go into the problem solve 2r plus 5s minus 3t do you remember guys p means do z by do x q means do z by do y r means do square z by do x square s is do is square z by do x do y and my t is going to be do square z by do y square so in exams they can ask in different way so they can ask like this or like this so either they can ask like this or this or in the other form too so since we know d means do z by do x d square this is going to be 2 d square plus 5 it has one derivative with respect to x and y 5 d d dash and minus 3 d dash square and i am writing this is a commonly out that is equal to 0 so in your exams they can give in any of the three forms either they can give in r s t or like this or like this so you should be prepared for everything now we are going to find the solution since the rhs is zero pa is going to be zero so this is homogeneous linear pde because all the degree is one and you see the derivative all are two it is second order so it is going to be homogeneous linear pde so now i am going to put d equal to m d dash equal to 1 in 1 so i am going to get Simply 2m square plus 5m d dash is 1 minus 3 equal to 0. So it is better, guys. Use your calculator like fx 991 ms. This is allowed for the exams. Casio, you can use to solve the quadratic equation or cubic equation. Or if you are well enough to solve in the classical way, you can do like that also. So 2m square. So 5m I can write 6m minus m minus 3 equal to 0. So I'll take 2m outside. I'll get m plus 3. 
I'll take minus outside m plus 3 equal to 0. So m plus 3 into 2m minus 1 it is equal to 0. So my roots are minus 3 and 1 by 2. So the roots are distinct. So you can see here. Now I am going to write my CF. My CF is going to be F1 of Y plus X by 2 F2 of Y plus. Here since we have the negative root minus 3. So I am going to take this as F2 of Y minus 3X. This is my CF. Since PI is 0, my general solution is simply Z is equal to F1 Y plus X by 2 F2 Y minus 3X. And you can write like this also. Like if you take minus 3 comma 1 by 2 are the roots. I can write f1 of y minus 3x plus f2 of y plus x by 2. This is also correct. Next problem. So as usual we take the equation as 1. This is a homogeneous linear PDE. Then put d equal to m. d dash equal to 1. And we get m square minus 2m plus 1 equal to 0. So my roots are real. And and equal. The roots are repeated, that is the matter. So, I can write my CF as F1 of Y plus X plus X into F2 of Y plus X. Since PI is 0, because RHS is 0, I can answer like this. Next question, we will take a cubic equation. Obviously, you see, order is going to be 3 and all the degree is 1. The coefficients are constant. So, it is going to be homogeneous linear PDE. So, D equal to M, D dash equal to 1, substitute in equation 1. The auxiliary equation is M cube minus M square plus M minus 1 equal to 0. In calculator, there is one drawback. If the roots are complex, it will not show. So, in that case, we have to evaluate manually. So, here you can see, I took M square common from this term. Now, I can get simply m square plus 1 into m minus 1 equal to 0. So, this root I am going to get plus or minus i and this root is 1. I get 3 different roots. So, in PDE we don't want to worry about whether it is real or complex, whether it is equal or unequal. Here all the 3 roots are unequal. So, I am going to write my CF since my root is minus i plus i 1, F1 of, so I am going to write my CF, F1 of Y minus IX, F2 of Y plus IX, F3 of Y plus X. That's it. PI is 0 as usual. So the general solution is going to be CF plus PI. Next we go for order 4. It's going to be very simple. So here degree is 1, order is 4, constant coefficients. So it is homogeneous, linear, PDE. Now put D equal to M d dash equal to 1. So, it is going to be m power 4 minus 1 equal to 0 and we remember a square minus b square formula. I can write like this. So, m square plus 1, m square minus 1 equal to 0. So, for this I will get the roots are plus or minus i. For this I will get the roots are plus or minus 1. So, all my roots are distinct. So, I am going to write the corresponding CF. So, my CF is going to be F1 of Y plus IX, F2 of Y minus IX, F3 of Y plus X, F4 of Y minus X. That's it. As usual, RH is 0. So, my PI is going to be 0. So, the general solution is CF plus PI. And very important guys, here Z is the dependent variable. Always we should write the answer in terms of Z. Don't get confused with your semester 1. There we did ODE, where we always like Y is equal to CF plus PI. This is for ODE, we are dealing with PDE. So, this is the solution. So, this is the solution. So, in this session, uh, we solved problems how to find CF. In the forthcoming session, we are going to solve the same homogeneous linear PDE with constant coefficient if my RHS is non-zero. So, we are going to classify what are all the different types on the RHS. Thank you for your watching. Subscribe our channel and share to your friends. See you in the next video.